Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix you're having an issue with Rainbow Six Siege X is having an issue with Battle I launched error failed to start battle eye service on your PC and how we can fix this error. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the battle eye. To do so, just go over here in the game, right click and go to manage, go to browse local file. Now from here, navigate to the battle light. Now from here, first we have to go over here and install the battle light. Right click and go to run as administrator. Go for yes. Once the battle light is uninstalled, we have to go over here and inst install it back. To do so, right click over here and go to run as administrator and go for yes. Once the battle light is uninstalled and reinstalled it back, you have to close this and you have to check with the key. Make sure it's all about we need to uninstall the battle eye and launch the key. Then during the launch, the battle eye will be reinstalled back. To do so, just go over here. Now go to the key, right click and go to manage, browse local file. Now from here, we have to get into the battle eye. Now go over here on the uninstalled battle eye, right click and go to run as administrator and go for yes. Now once it is uninstalled and is done, we just need to close this and launch the key. Once the game is successfully launched, you have to install it back. and. It will be automatically installing and you have to wait for that. Next step, we need to try verify the game file. That's an important step. Go over here in the game, navigate to the game, right click and go to the properties. Go to installer file and verify the game file. So the game is around 57 GB. It will take a little bit of time. So what happens is it will be cross checking every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So it is going to take a little bit of time. And once afterwards, you have to check. Step 4 is all about we need to allow the game to the Windows security. So we have to try if you're having any third party antiviruses like Komodo, Avast, AVG, MCAFE, Norton, Bitdefender, then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well. So go over here, we have to minimize everything, go to the control panel. Now from here, you have to wait for a little bit of time, then just click on the Windows Defender Firewall. Would we'll allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall? Keep scrolling down and make sure the Rainbow Six Siege is already added. So if you scroll down, you can see the Rainbow Six Siege launcher is added. Then you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public. If you don't find, you can add it. Once you add, you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public. Then you have to check with the key. Next step, we need to update the windows. We need to add the restart the PC. So just go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, navigate to the Windows update and if the Windows is up to date, you have to check. And also the very important part, apart from it, after updating the Windows, we have to do a restart and we have to check. Make sure and uninstall the game and delete the game folder, restart the PC and reinstall it back to the SSD. So just go over here, right click and go to manage, now uninstall the game. Now we have to reinstall it back. While reinstalling it back, you have to install it back. Right now, as you can see, the game is on E. So either I have to try the or C. It should not be installed back on the same local disk. So these are the steps and I hope this kick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. That's up. Bye.